Kepler investigator. That's happened with Rob Manning, the head of NASA JPL. And with Mitzi, so I'd say that's four. And those are podcasts that I listen to afterwards, as if I'm listening to a podcast that's not mine. And it's very rare for me because not only do I know the content of my podcast, it can never be new to me. It can never be a new entertaining thing because I just did it. Not only that, furthermore, I hate hearing myself talk. Who, who, who the hell likes watching videos of themselves? So for me to listen and watch one of my own podcasts really has to be special because I'm overcoming boredom because I already know what I said and general self-hatred. <laughs> Not self-hatred, but you know what I mean. And Mitzi's one of four guests that I've done that with. And it's... It really is a privilege. Like, no, just fully candid, truthful. It, it is a privilege. And, um, yeah, can't wait to have her on again. Talking to this woman who's eight years younger than my late grandmother. And here she is, sharp as a tack talking about taking on cartels far more dangerous than those in Mexico City. And it's just, I mean, now at 224 episodes, I like to say I've had on some cool guests. No bullshit. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying this on a podcast. I'm not saying this to anyone. I'm, I'm being candid. Top five coolest guests. And I mean, and that's up there with Mike Durant. That's up there with Charlie Duke, a guy that's walked on the moon. It's really is a... Um, it's a privilege to have her on, and it's, I sit there and I listen and I forget that I'm doing the podcast, and that's only happened with a couple of guests. That's happened with Charlie Duke, the, the Apollo Moonwalker, that's happened with, um, that's happened with Bruce Sackman, the serial killer investigator. A few kind words from Mitzi Perdue. Mitzi was... No bullshit, top five coolest guests I've ever had on. She, her stories seem surreal. Like, they don't seem real, but they are. And that's what makes it so badass. And especially with a line like, I'm 78 years old, I believe in this cause, I don't care what they do. I mean, that's insane. And human trafficking really is, like, that is... I mean, that is the mother of all buzzsaws. Not only is it a $150 billion industry, I mean, that's like, what, one-sixth of a trillion dollars? It's the people that are willing to do that are the lowest form and the most ruthless form, the most ruthless form. And talking to her, you can see in the videos where I have her on, I can't help but smile because the entire time I'm just giggling because I'm like, holy shit. I'm talking to this woman who 